Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a delicious pistachio baklava recipe. So stick around for the ingredients. All right, so I'm going to begin with my store-bought phyllo dough. I opened up the package. I've let it thaw out on my counter at room temperature for about three hours. And I'm going to show you guys the brand that I use. I use this brand. I have tried Balkan brands. I have tried so many Greek brands. This brand is absolutely perfect. Every single time I buy it, the packaging is perfect. They don't come out soggy. Every single layer is visible. Here I'm showing you guys the type of knife that I'm going to be using for this recipe and the pan that I'm using. I will link down below um, the size of the pan that I use so that you guys know um, what to use for this exact recipe, but depending on how many you want to make, you can just double this recipe and then use a bigger pan. It is up to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that pan and I'm going to put it on top of my phyllo dough layers and then I'm going to cut around the pan so I can get that perfect circular shape. So as you see, I'm just going around that pan and I'm making a deep cut with my paring knife. That's that small little knife I showed you before. And I'm going all the way around so I can get that perfect circle. But I'm not going to throw away that outer layer that you guys are going to see. I'm going to leave that to the side and you guys are going to see what I'm going to do with that in the recipe. I'm still going to use all of the phyllo dough that I got in the packaging. And I want to let you guys know that I will be doing a homemade phyllo dough recipe in the future. But right now I really wanted to show everyone how to just make basic store-bought phyllo dough baklava. I think that's just a key recipe to have on hand. So now I want to talk about the butter. I'm going to be adding oil to my butter and I'm going to whisk that until everything is well combined. When it comes to making baklava, I cannot stress it enough you have to use a very good quality butter. An organic brand, a very good organic brand and unsalted butter is key to making a really good crispy baklava. I add the oil because I've noticed that the oil just gives it that extra grease for those layers to fluff up. And I don't add too much, I believe it's just two tablespoons. But again, please use a very good quality butter for this recipe. I mean it's only three ingredients. You got the nuts, the phyllo dough, and the butter. So you might as well make it worthwhile and you know spend on a good quality butter. So now the fun part, we're going to assemble the baklava. Here I take about three teaspoons of the butter and oil mixture and I'm going to coat that pan and I'm going to make sure every inch of that pan is coated with the butter because we don't want our phyllo dough to stick to the pan. And then I take my circular phyllo dough, the pieces that we cut out, and I do this in layers of two because if I did it you know, one layer at a time, it would take forever and it's a waste of time. You're going to get the same results. So I'm just going to put that on the bottom of my pan and I'm going to take again about two teaspoons, drizzle that on top and brush it with my silicone brush. And you'll see as I keep going, I stop using the spoon and I just drizzle with my um, silicone brush. It's just easier, it saves more time. And I'm doing uh, two layers of the circular phyllo dough. So in total, there'll be four layers of that phyllo dough at the bottom before I start using those scraps. Like I mentioned before, I'm gonna use all of that phyllo dough that came in the packaging. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a thin layer of those scraps on top of the circular phyllo dough because that's gonna fluff up our phyllo, our baklava recipe. So here, again, you guys will see, I'm just adding a thin layer and then I'm gonna drizzle a lot of butter, not a lot, but I'm gonna drizzle about three to four uh, teaspoons of that butter on top of those scraps. All right, now I'm gonna be a Balkan mom and I'm gonna say you're gonna eyeball this. And what I mean by that is you're gonna use half of those circular sheets of phyllo dough and once you get to half of it, you're then going to add your nuts. So here I'm just gonna keep repeating the steps of adding my phyllo dough, butter, scraps, phyllo dough, butter, scraps until I get halfway through and then that was the perfect moment for me to say, okay, this is good, let's stop here and let's add our nuts. So you guys will see that in the remainder of the video.
All right, so now what I wanna talk about the nuts. So I'm using a pistachio. I absolutely love baklava with pistachios. It has its own flavor. Um, the pistachios are very strong. They're not like walnut, walnuts or almonds where they kind of just blend in with the baklava and they all taste the same. I'm adding some sugar to the pistachios because like I said, they have their own flavor um, and we wanna kind of sweeten them up. And I'm gonna split this in half. So what I'm gonna do is the filo of dough that we've already stacked up, I'm gonna add half of the pistachios to it. And then I'm gonna add a layer of the circular um, filo dough. And again, what I mean by layer is two sheets of that filo dough. I'm gonna add butter to both sections of the pistachios. And I'm going to add butter to the uh, top layer of that filo dough that's kind of going in between um, the pistachios. Remember, make sure you put butter in absolutely every single layer of this baklava because at the end you'll see it all fluffs up beautifully because of that butter. So you're just gonna keep doing um, this process until you've used up all your phyllo dough. Please remember to use up your scraps before you get to the um, last couple layers of your circular phyllo dough because you want those top layers of your baklava to be those beautiful circular uh, layers of the phyllo dough. All right, so once you've completed your baklava, you're gonna take that same paring knife that we used in the beginning of the video, and you're gonna start cutting the baklava into whatever shape you'd like. Some people do diamonds. I'm just doing basic square shapes. I like to make small size baklava, um, but you can make this any shape that you'd like. And what you're gonna do is you're going to make the um, lines first, and then you're gonna go in and cut the actual squares of the baklava and you see that I'm cutting the lines and then I'm going back again because I want to make sure that it reaches the bottom of the pan because then when we actually take out the baklava at the end we get nice beautiful pieces of baklava. So once I've cut up my baklava into little cubes, I'm then going to take any remainder butter that I have left and I'm going to drizzle that on top. I want to make sure every single cube of baklava is coated with that butter because I want that butter to seep through the cracks and I want to give it that extra um, buttery goodness to make it fluff up. Now since baklava does take forever to bake, we're gonna make our simple syrup. That way when it's done, it'll be room temperature and it'll be perfect to put on top of our baklava. I'm mixing my water, my sugar, and lemon peel together. The lemon peel isn't overpowering, just gives it a nice flavor um, that goes on top and mixes well with the baklava. You can see I'm just using the peel. I'm not using portions of the lemon. If you use portions of lemon in simple syrup, it waters down your simple syrup. You won't get the same consistency. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this on once it gets up to a simmer um, I wouldn't say a roaring simmer but it starts to kind of bubble up we're gonna lower down to medium medium low heat and we're gonna cook it for another 30 minutes All right, so my baklava is finally done. It's right and fresh out of the oven. Um, it is very hot. I'm not gonna add the simple syrup right away. Um, I'm gonna show you guys those layers. Look how gorgeous that is. All of those layers because of that butter are visible. It fluffed up, absolutely gorgeous. Looks incredible. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit on my countertop for about 10 to 15 minutes before I add my room temperature simple syrup. All right, so now it's time to add the simple syrup to your baklava. Now, I'm gonna tell you, be your own chef when it comes to this. We did make um, our simple syrup, but I don't use all of my simple syrup. What I do is I add as much as I think is necessary to the baklava, and whatever I don't use, I put in a jar and I keep in the back of my fridge, and I use it for another dessert, because I do make dessert at least once a week. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is you're gonna add as much simple syrup as you think is necessary. And then what I do is I put it in my fridge and I let it sit for about half an hour to 45 minutes. And then I take a corner piece and I take the baklava out, that corner piece, and I wanna check the bottom of that pan. Is that bottom of the pan leaking with a bunch of simple syrup? Has that baklava or has that baklava absorbed all of the simple syrup? And most of the time it's absorbed all of the simple syrup and at then I'll decide, I'll taste that corner piece because you know, you have to try it and I determine, okay, should I add more simple syrup or should I just leave it as B? Usually it, it's leave it as B and it's perfect, it's sweet enough, it's not overpowering. Personally, I'm not like my mom. My mom likes the baklava to be dripping in simple syrup. I don't like it like that. I like to enjoy the, the baklava sweet enough but not overpowering with the simple syrup. So be your own chef and determine what you're gonna add and how much you're gonna add of the simple syrup. And there you guys have it. These absolutely delicious baklavas are all ready to go to serve to your next party. You guys can see those beautiful layers. You can see it's not too sweet. I didn't add it, like I said, too much of that simple syrup. So that bottom layer, those pistachios got it, but that top layer is nice and beautiful and crispy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below, tell me what you think, and add me on Instagram. Again, thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.